In this video, we will be going over the GPS setup options in the Ag Leader Inside Display. From the home screen, press the Setup button and then GPS and Guidance. Under the General tab, you will see settings that can be changed when connected to a T-SIP receiver. For differential source, you can choose WAS Agnos, Omnistar, or Beacon. If utilizing Omnistar, you can also select a WAS backup. In the Settings button, to the right of Omnistar, the user can enter in the Omnistar ID, a frequency, a custom frequency, differential source of VBS, HPXP, or HPXP with VBS backup, a baud rate, and select Omnistar XP HP Auto Seed Fast Restart. If utilizing Beacon, you can also select a WASP backup. In the Settings button, to the right of Beacon, the user can change the mode between auto range, auto power, and manual. The user will also be able to set the frequency settings for channel 0 and channel 1. At the bottom of the GPS general tab, the user has the option to set the TSIP receiver GPS hertz rate to 1, 2, 5, or 10 hertz. In the middle of the screen, the user can change the TSIP receiver's port A settings, port B settings, display the age of the differential, and they have the option to choose Ignore GPS Checksum. When selecting port A or port B settings, the user will see the port that they are connected to, the port that they are configuring, and they will be able to set the output type, the output baud rate, output parity, GPS position rate, output rate, and the NEMA messages. On the right side of the general tab, the user can force a connection with the TSIP receiver and reset the receiver to factory defaults. Under the Guidance tab, the user will be able to adjust general settings for autopilot and external light bar. Under the Guidance control, the user can check mark Enable Guidance on the run. This will allow the user to see the settings on the autopilot tab of the run screen. The external light bar can be check marked if the user would like to use an external light bar in addition to the display. The Settings button allows the user to turn on the light bar, change the units, set the LED brightness, set the light bar mounting position, turn the display text on or off, set the LED spacing mode, adjust the LED spacing, end distance spacing, and LED sensitivity. In addition, the user can select the patterns, headlands, swath direction, contour log interval, LED display mode, look ahead, swath width, and antenna offset. The user can also choose the autopilot guidance option if they have purchased the display's autopilot feature unlock. The settings button to the right allows the user to set the heading threshold, the new pass, as well as on-screen light bar spacing mode. To the right, there are pattern file options of import, export, and remove all patterns. Under the Autopilot tab, the user can set the swath change, operator alert, look ahead, end of row distance, auto config receiver, GPS receiver type, GPS correction type, radio network ID, access the NEMA diagnostic port settings, set the Omnistar XP HP auto seed fast restart, and select your active vehicle profile under the vehicle management settings. For more information on Ag Leader products, please refer to your local Ag Leader dealer, other tutorial videos on the Ag Leader YouTube channel, or the Ag Leader Knowledge Base at support.agleader.com. To find an Ag Leader dealer in your area, please visit our website at www.agleader.com and use the Find a Dealer feature located on the homepage.